There are only about 2,500 Nez Perce Indians left in the United States. Very few people have traveled among them, know a great deal about them. Uh, up until recently, uh, no one had gone on the reservation in, in Idaho with a camera and tape recorder who was, had the charm and other things to make himself welcome there, to make a kind of record of some of the things they've done. Uh, when Bernie Krauss uh, called me once, uh, and he sent me uh, also some remarkable film that he and a friend made at uh, Nez Perce National Park, uh, I asked him to come on and talk about it and show it. Will you welcome, please, Bernie Krauss? <laughs> How did you get into this venture of going among the Nez Perce? Well, um, I read some books about Chief Joseph, and yeah. I read the speeches. And, and when you read the speeches, it's, like, uh, it's almost like a religious experience. And Chinese food. <laughs> you yeah. know, you, you know. go through it, you, you, you read it, and you want more, and uh, you're hungry for more and more and more. And it was just incredible. We just, uh, I know, I, Joseph's speeches, uh, I guess they're among the most eloquent things ever, ever said on this continent by anyone, white or non-white and uh, remarkable. Uh, why did they welcome you? Uh, a lot of Indians more and more are not happy with people showing up on reservations with tape recorders. They didn't. It yeah. took, me, um, took me about three years of research and letters and phone calls and um, constant contact with them before I was even allowed to go on the reservation and mm -hmm. do the work that I wanted to do. But there's an interesting thing that happens with, uh, with the Nez Perce particularly. The Nez Perce incidentally are in Idaho and uh, in central Idaho. And what happens with them is um, there are, there's a governing body there. There's the executive committee. And there are also the individuals. And it's really the individual who has the power to decide whether or not he's going to work with you and, yeah. and give you the information that you want. And it wasn't really through the executive committee that I got permission to work. It was directly with individuals that I made contact with. And, and they've decided uh, to accept you or, or not accept you. Absolutely. In, in each case. Yes. Uh, he, he and his partner, uh, they call themselves Beaver and Krauss, those are their names, uh, have an album out. And one of the things is, um, has one of the most haunting voices on it I'd ever heard. And it belongs to an old Nez Perce woman who spoke to you, let right. you interview her. And I've never heard a voice quite like this. The quality of it is so beautiful. And she died just uh, between the time you were able to record and uh, get her. Well, actually, what happened? You, you called me yeah. about three days after she died, and I said to you, "I've got some bad news that Elizabeth Elizabeth Wilson just died." Mm -hmm. And uh, you said, "It's funny. I had a premonition that that was going to happen." Yeah. I had sent you all of the tapes I, I had. Uh, that that we had had recorded. We had about three hours of tapes that we had done on the reservation, and um, with Elizabeth Wilson. And I took these tapes and I edited the, edited them down to about three and a half minutes and then put some music to it with my partner. Um, and then ultimately we did the film yeah. uh, that we're, we'll probably be showing in a few minutes. Let's, let's do show that. Um, tell, tell us some of the things that we'll see in it, so uh, significant so. Well, all of the film was shot on the reservation um, and along the route of the march that Joseph took in 1877. Um, there are shots of Elizabeth Wilson, there are shots of her house, there are um, just different aspects of, of Indian life and, and where, they, where they lived and how they lived. Uh, the, the, the soundtrack behind it is a narration by Elizabeth Wilson. The uh, music is, of course, a uh, thing that Paul and I did uh, together, uh, based on music that we had recorded on the reservation. It, it's, yeah. it's really a, a sort of epic poem, in a way. Yeah. Barbara, would you be offended if I asked you to take free off stage? I'm, it's, I'm sorry. Let's not, don't, don't apologize. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, free. It's hard on, hard on the guest. You're not offended, are you, old man? <laughs> <laughs> you were watch, watching the show up there. Um, listen, to the, listen to the quality of this voice uh, and, and, and watch these pictures. I, I don't know how many of you know of the legendary uh, escape of the Nez Perce. It's one of the great gallant stories in Indian history. Uh, if you don't know about it, uh, look in Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee or any good book on Indian history. Uh, but some, you will see some of that terrain here. And um, you will hear Elizabeth Wilson's voice. And it's interesting, you repeat certain phrases by re uh, recording devices. And when yeah. she heard it, she wondered if she had repeated herself. Or, yeah, she thought it? that the record was stuck. But let's show the film. Yeah, I mean, let's do it. Have a sense of Roll it and you'll see it.
That's good on so many levels. I just don't know what to say about it. It's wonderful. Uh, that phrase of hers, all uh, <clears throat> legend days will be over, um, sounds almost like something that would be written, that the fact that anybody speaks. She had some of Joseph's eloquence uh, when she yes. spoke. And she met Joseph. That's in, what's incredible to me. A woman that you met, met Joseph uh, before he died. That's right. Uh, and there are very few of them, of these people left who did meet Joseph. Um, and I looked for three years to find a person who had. Yeah. And I got her just before she died. It's so moving to me. In incidentally, this is a film by Bob Primes, and I, I really must give credit to him for doing the work and the cutting on it, uh, yeah. which, which is so good. What you heard is on um, a record you did called All Good Men. Uh, All Good Men? All Good Men, yeah. yes. Um, well, we have a message. We'll be right back. Elizabeth Wilson ever get to hear her recording? Yes, she got to hear her recording. I, got a, I, I called her several times. I sent a, the record to her in August, and I called her several times, and I, I couldn't reach her. She was very ill at that time last year. And when I finally did reach her, when I got back from Europe in the fall, um, she had just heard the record for the first time. And I said, why, why did it take you so long? She said, well, I didn't answer you because I didn't have a record player. Oh. And I felt... You, you wouldn't know, think of that. No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and she, so she might have died without hearing it. Right. Yeah. You, you've worked with uh, the strangest collection of people in the world, I guess. I've seen a list of your credits and you've I done music. I wanted you to rattle them off in one breath. I, 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 I used to do that with movie titles. Uh, but from Mick Jagger on down or on up, depending on where you put Mick Jagger and the scale of things. And uh, you, work, you go from the Rolling Stones to the Nez Perce Reservation and without cultural shock, I guess. Well, not exactly. A lot of the work that I do in the studio, we also do television and radio commercials. We do quite a few of those. Yeah. And we also do film scores. And um, a lot of the work that we do in that area is designed so that we can really, you know, get out into the field and do work with people like the Nez Perce and, uh, yeah in various other areas. Are there musical f uh, ceremonies and things that they won't let you record? Yes, several. Um, the, um, th there's, there are two Nez Perce reservations, actually. There's a reservation in Idaho and there's a reservation in Washington. Is that the Colville? The Colville, yeah, just yeah. Uh, near Grand Coulee. And they won't, uh, it, this is the seven drums or bell ringers religion or the ghost dance religion that Sitting Bull was eventually mm -hmm. killed uh, over. and. Um, uh, they just won't let whites anywhere near that. There, there's, a, there's a story of one white man who was able to join the, the, uh, the cult. But By deceit? Or, oh, he was able no, to no, join No, no, no. Actually, it. because he spoke the language and was yeah. able to do it. But this is all that I've ever known. And I, I do have a tape that somebody was able to get out of one of the ceremonies. And it's mm -hmm. the most incredible music. It's not the drum beating uh, thing that you usually hear. That it's corny Indian music that you get in the movies. Boom, 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 boom. It doesn't, well, there's no, no correspondence. No, no. It's, it's, so, it's celestial. It's like if you're aiming one of those dishes at the stars, and one of those electronic things at the stars, and getting music that you would imagine would be in outer space. It's, it's, it's like that. That tape you sent me of the man playing the flute uh, out, outdoors is eerie and just very, very moving. That was done at, uh, at Old Joseph's burial, burial grounds. Yeah. And uh, you also sent me a picture that I treasure. It shows. Elizabeth, it shows Joseph with General Miles. No, General Howard. Oh, uh, General Howard. And uh, it was taken at the um, uh, Carlisle School, I guess. That's right. Was it? When In 1904. Uh, no, not General Miles. He surrendered to General Miles, yes. I believe. That's right. Yeah. And they keep butchering that speech in the movies, that famous speech that starts out, tell General Miles I know his heart. And, right. Uh, it's terrible what, the, what they do. I, yeah. you know. It's one of the great speech. It ranks with the Gettysburg Address. For You've read it eloquence. many times on, on your show. I read it once. Uh, I should have had Brando do it the other oh. night when he was here because he does those things very well. No, he really, yeah. really does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll get somebody to read that some night on the show. There are probably people who've missed it. Do you collect Indian artifacts still? <laughs> uh, tell that story. I, I don't have. He, he sent me a letter once. He'd just found some very. What is that? <laughs> I thought you were tuning up. Yeah, man, that's me. <laughs> No, you sent me some artifacts. You, you were excited, and so was I. Or you, you sent me a letter, anyway, about some that you had found. And what's there, another show over there? No, because if, when they're looking for an Oriental girl, you put me in your city, because I, people in my neighborhood, they think I'm a Hawaiian, you see? Yeah, yeah. do anything? OK, let's see when this show is finished. I don't know what my premises are being used okay. for here. No, let me tell you, you had bought some things, and, and they turned out to be phony. Right. And, uh, 
uh, manufactured for tourists some years ago or something right. like Dick that. Right, Dick asked me if I had any artifacts you know, yeah. when, when we spoke on the phone one day, and I said, no, I don't, and I really don't collect them. I, I, I think that the proper place for those is either in the museum or in the ex excavation places. Yeah. And um, when, and, and I found, somebody gave me a lead to find some original Nez Perce artifacts, and I thought, gee, I'll bring them on the show and we'll spread them out on the table and we'll talk about them a lot. I went out and I, I spent every cent that I had on, 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 on a whole collection and uh, my wife said to me, um, I think you better check those out. And I went to the museum to check them out, and none of them were worth anything. Um, yeah. Turned out to be worth about 50 bucks. And, uh, yes, I, I, I have bought Indian artifacts. I, I have one of the rare uh, shirts collected by Sitting Bull while traveling in Hong Kong, I think, <laughs> uh, as it turned out later. There are more Joseph, Chief Joseph clubs and... and yeah. Uh, Look at glass was the other news person that right. you supposedly had. Right. So, so be very careful in that field. And, uh, right. We, we have a message. We'll be right back. It was not sold to him by Indians, by the way. No, and I got my money back. Okay. <laughs>